Hi everyone, this is TJ Muehlman with Standard Co. with another short tutorial on how to use Metabase to turn non-helpful values into something more helpful. So let me give you a use case. Uh, right now I'm creating a visualization that breaks a particular um, column down by gender. Um, but we store the gender value as an enumerator, zero or one. Um, so you can see here, zero and one. But I don't know if zero is male or female, it's not helpful. And more importantly, when I share this with the customer, um, they're gonna look at it and be like, well, which one's zero, which one's one? Not super useful. So um, let me show you uh, how to convert that in the uh, editor inside of Metabase. So let me start by converting this over to a pie chart, which is a good way to visualize sort of uh, a binary zero or one or two values, or just a few handful of values. Uh, and you can still see here zero and one, don't know which one's which. But inside of the Metabase editor, if I click show editor, you can see here, um, I now have a handful of options here and I'm gonna pick custom column, okay? And custom column is like a really powerful, like super user feature that allows you to uh, utilize a bunch of um, na native functions in, in SQL or whatever database you're using, as well as some add-on functions that are part of Metabase. So I'm gonna use the case statement, okay? So the case statement allows you to do sort of um, um, multiple if-then statements. If you're from a programming background, you're very familiar with the case statement. It's in every programming language. If you're just a SQL developer, you've probably used it, but it might be unfamiliar to you, but it's not that hard to use. Um, so the case statement opens up with what uh, field are you evaluating? So uh, you put uh, in brackets uh, the field, and uh, let's just say equals one. So we've know, we know our values are zero and one. So, and you can do equals or less than or, or greater than here as well. Um, and then you put mail and then Q6 equals, oops, zero female, okay? So now I've basically created this case statement that looks at the value or the field I'm looking at and whether it's zero or one, and if it's one, it's a male, and if it's zero, it's a female. So I'm creating a brand new column um, from the values that are coming back from the database. And I'm gonna give this new column, this computed column, a name, and we'll call it gender, okay? So I hit go, and let me visualize this, and voila, now I have my data. So I still have the zero and one, I have the count, but I now have a friendlier version of that now that I can um, visualize as a pie chart. And I'm gonna pick my dimension as count and my measure, uh, oops, I'm sorry, the other way around, gender, and count. So now I've turned this zero and one into female male. And again, the important part here is when you're creating a visualization is you should be able to hand it to someone who's totally unfamiliar with the data set and they should be able to understand exactly what's going on as quickly as possible. And I think we've accomplished that here. So use the case statement as a computed column in the Metabase uh, uh, design editor. Thanks a lot.